it was good YouTube so check it out um, our last trip to uh, Death Valley uh, we had a couple of technical difficulties with the uh, temperature on my truck so basically it was overheating uh, right when we got on the trail too right we were gonna get on the uh, it was right in the canyon and uh, yeah it started overheating and the reason why because the way I have it set up I have two fans two electric fans okay there it is um, but the way I had it set up was I was running uh, one fan for the temperature and one fan for my AC compressor um, but I had them both connected to I had both fans connected to uh, each one had a relay but I had one one breaker and these fans are from a Windstar okay they're from a Ford Windstar van uh, I went and picked it up at the junkyard for like 30 bucks or so and uh, it fits perfect on my, uh, my radiator this is an OBS you know like a 95 88 to 90 through 98 I think it's the same thing and uh, yeah it started overheating because that breaker it pretty much got it got overheated and it kept on popping you know it kept on popping so only one fan was working and it couldn't keep up it was too hot over there uh, so this time around what i'm doing is i added two breakers one for each fan and one relay for each fan and i'm running a third relay to uh change the polarity on my compressor so that i can get the uh my ac to, to when my ac turns on I have a fan turn on as well, so it can keep my condenser cool. Because if the condenser gets too hot, it's gonna it's gonna increase the pressure and it'll shut your compressor off. Okay, it's gonna shut the compressor off. You're not gonna get no cold air. So I have I have uh, I reverse the polarity on that. So now I have AC, you know, with the fan on. And then if the temperature gets too high, then both fans will turn on as well. Okay, that's basically how you do it. It's like that, you don't have to buy a. You can do it like this, or you can just buy a controller. Basically, you know, the controller is probably like a hundred bucks. Uh, you could buy these relays. I bought like five of them for like twenty bucks on Amazon or something like that. You know, and then you gotta buy the wire as well. And I'm using uh, I want to say ten gauge, twelve gauge. I'm using twelve gauge wire um, to run it. You know, I, I've done it in the past and with thinner wire, and I didn't want to do that. I've done that mistake already. And it gets overheated and it starts burning. Good, they're gonna cause a fire in your car. Don't do that. Um, so yeah, that's basically how it's set up, and I'll show you guys how I did it. Okay. Okay, so here it is. Um, I'll start with uh, reversing the polarity on my uh, compressor. So, for those of you who have done this, I mean, you know that you, you, you put this, this green one is positive. So when your compressor turns on the clutch, this is the clutch, it turns on your clutch and it starts spinning. Um, it creates, this is a positive current. Um, a lot of people, what they do is they just connect this to the one relay, but then that, now you have, um, now you can only use one fan, okay? Specifically just for, just for AC. And then the other fan is gonna be specifically just for for uh, temperature. But what I want to do is I want to be able to use both of them for two separate things. Okay, so that's how you do it. You have to use three relays. So this relay right here is my uh, <clears throat> my polarity change. So you run that positive trigger wire from the, from the AC. You gotta run it to here. Okay, and you're gonna run it to that white wire. Okay, which is gonna be number 86. That's number 86. Pin number 86. Okay, you're gonna run the trigger wire there. And you're gonna you're gonna um, you're gonna tap into 30 and 85 and you're gonna ground those two okay the positive that would normally go to your battery is now gonna be grounded okay you're gonna ground both of those so that's how you see right there I drilled a hole right there in my truck that's a ground okay and then this blue wire which is 87 is my trigger wire this is gonna turn on the fan now it's gonna send a signal to a, to this relay to turn on the fan okay so here it is right here. I tapped into it right here. See? There it is. Um, so this is this is one fan and here's the other fan. Um, when you're running, I'm running the sniper, the Holly sniper. And the Holly sniper gives you the controls to the fans. It sends out ground signals. Okay, that's the reason why I had to change polarity. So I could do both things. So I have one fan that turns on, let's say, uh, I think I have it at 190 and turns off like at 180. Or 170 something like that and then one fan turns on like a few degrees later just in case like that you don't have a big power draw okay um so that's how i have it but if my ac is on then automatically one fan is going to be on already and then when the temperature rises above whatever i have it set preset to then the other one will turn on to help it and then it will drastically drop the temperature down okay and that's basically how you do it um that's how you change the polarity on it and that's basically it. If you were running like it was your typical thermostat that also grounds your car, it sends your ground signal, then you would do the same thing. Same thing. It runs the same way. It's the only difference is that the red one is going to go to your battery, go to your breaker or fuse. 
This one's gonna be grounded. And there you have it. Um, this one right here, the white one, which is number uh, 86, you're gonna be running that to a positive trigger wire on your, re in your fuse relay, something that turns on with the ignition. So that, that powers the relay, but it won't turn on the fan until it's triggered by the ground, okay? And that's basically how I did it. And uh, you should be all right. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to, to help. Just uh, put some comments down there on the, uh, on the comment area below.